Greetings from Momocon 2015. This is Branch Scratch Comms with my co-host Nathan and Derek from Game Explain. Yo. We're going to be playing Cards Against Humanity. We're so, horrible people. Yeah. We're horrible Let's prove people. it. Uh, real quick before we get started to go over the rules, one person is going to draw a black card. It's going to be a topic card. It's going to have something on it that the black person reads out. Everyone else who's not plays a white card that they think I will pick as the judge will pick as the funniest or the most offensive. Whatever gets me crying. <laughs> Let's get this started. First topic is... The next, from J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Blank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. Uh, <laughs> we put on top of each other? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, then, and then Nathan will shuffle them. Okay. I'm not looking right now because I don't, I don't want to see who's putting the cards down, even though I could technically see from the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Has everyone placed? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. <laughs> Next from J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Vietnam Flashbacks. <laughs> Next from J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Dead Parents. <laughs> we found them! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why did they put him in this chamber? <laughs> Next from J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Cock. <laughs> well, that was just my fan fiction. <laughs> and, and this one goes with it. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> that was just my fan fiction. <laughs> I really wish somebody didn't play this one because there's a lot of Batman ones. Yeah. Too. <laughs> but yeah. Dead Parents wins it. All right. So who had Dead Parents? Was it? John, you get the point. All right. All right. All right. And so, I guess we're just going to go clockwise. So Derek's yeah, next. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let me put my cards down here. Oh. Here, <laughs> we'll put the discard. So it's whoever gets the best reaction. Yes, like, uh, you can. It's whatever you think oh, is yeah, best. Have, have, it's have you played apples to apples, John? No, I never played. Apples. Okay, well, if you've ever played apples to apples, it's apples to apples, but even more offensive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Basically, whatever think whatever if it makes the sense, go for that. Okay. If you want something that makes you laugh, go for that. If you want to be nonsensical, whatever. It's your choice. All right. You've seen the bearded lady. You've seen the ring of fire. Now, ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes upon. Blank. Got it. Oh, and after you place a white card, you have to draw. You always have ten white cards in your hand at all times. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I gotta draw two more. <laughs> Dang it! There are a lot of situations where you'll draw a card that's perfect for the one you played, yeah. Yeah. but you can't yeah. play it. Yeah. My, my friends and I, when we play this, we actually have a couple additional rules where you can play two cards, and like, but if you don't get either picked, you're down to nine cards and uh, yeah. additional rules like that. Okay. There, there's also where, like, if you have if you have earned, like, a bunch of black cards, you can wager one of those black cards to place down another card, but if neither one of your white cards wins, you lose your point. Oh, yeah. okay. You've seen the bearded lady. You've seen the ring of fire. Now, ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes upon two midgets shitting into a box. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than a movie. Why? <laughs> <laughs> feast your eyes upon Andre the Giant's enormous leathery <laughs> scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who <don't> drew that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes upon Domino's Oreo dessert pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's just horrifying. It's an advertisement. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes upon me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. This was. It seems like it would actually be at a circus. Andre the Giant's le giant, uh, enormous oh, leathery scrotum. That was uh, fun. Okay, <laughs> so Johnny never played, and he's already dominating. <laughs> I I, re I really thought he had the two midgets shitting in the box. Well, two midgets shitting in a box usually wins, but Andre the Giant fit too well. Right, okay, <laughs> so turn for a black uh, card. My card is. This is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelt to prepare for blank. <laughs> for. Uh. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to go that. I don't want to go that route yet. <laughs> oh, I, right. the, the, the tricky part is like you can usually read your friends. Like we're since yeah. we're. I can't. Uh, we'll go with this. Yeah. Is yeah, there yeah. is there a Helen Keller color card? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Because that always that tends to win. Uh, too. Again, once again, I got one that would be perfect for. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I got one too, but oh, yeah, it's where are we putting the uh, the, the discard card is under down here. We'll uh, just take all the cards. Okay. This is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelt and prepare for riding off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> this is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for fingering. <laughs> <laughs> we already went then, past the, the TSA. Seat, the seatbelt lights turn off. <laughs> <laughs> prepare for Sunny D. All right. <laughs> oh, you can read it in the voice. Sunny D. All, all right. right. <laughs> and prepare for lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I have to go <laughs> finger finger. Right. finger. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Discard piles underneath, and uh, Ryan draws a black card. Yep. Okay, so. Alright. Alternative medicine is now embracing the curative powers of blank. Oh, 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 I got, I got this one. Uh, this one was blank. So. Oh, yeah, this one you can fill in. A blank, a blank card, okay, we're not playing with the blank cards. Um, right, I don't know how one got in. All right, did everyone put one in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Alternative medicine is embracing the curative powers of... Authentic Mexican cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> Alternative medicine is now embracing the curative powers of swiftly achieving orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> embracing the curative powers of turning off into a pure pool of children's tears. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is now embracing the curative powers of sexual pee. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with authentic Mexican cuisine just because it makes no sense in context of That's what they're trying to cure. No. <laughs> Although I do like how like for the past couple of rounds, whenever I played, I play one, somebody's card one ups me. Yeah. <laughs> I had I thought jerking off into a pool of tears would win that one. Mine was jerking off into a pool of children's tears. <laughs> mine was swiftly <laughs> achieving. <laughs> mine was swiftly achieving more guys. Right, so so like John. Judge. All right. TSA guidelines now prohibit blank on airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one. This one makes sense. Uh, uh, I'll go that one. Uh, oh no, that's that's not a blank card. <laughs> My thumb was covering up the answer. Sometimes you that's just everybody. Right, Sometimes you just get burners. TSA guidelines now prohibit vigilante justice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <right>. Batman. <laughs> TSA guidelines now prohibit David Bowie flying on a tiger made of lightning. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's competition. <laughs> <laughs> you know. TSA guidelines now prohibit wearing Nicolas Cage's face on airplanes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> TSA guidelines now prohibit disco fever on airplanes. <laughs> I gotta go with David Bowie. Yes, yeah, that, that was me. me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and we're back to me. Yep. So far, John's in the lead. How many blacks do you have, John? Uh, three. Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> cards. Cards. I have three. Oh, God. Oh, then, there's, then there's those others in his yeah. basement. <laughs> the 1700s, Ted. Okay. Do the do with our most extreme flavor yet. Get ready for Mountain Dew Blank. Jerking off into a pool of children's tears. Mountain Dew. Okay. Some of these answers get so ridiculous. That's every play. I think you keep taking from my pile, Derek. There are because some where like, like it could be stupid. It could be as stupid as the word nothing. <laughs> yeah. And it's still <laughs> funny. All right. Do the deal with our most extreme flavor yet. Get ready for Mountain Dew khakis. <laughs> <laughs> It's really a bright, obnoxious color. Get ready for Mountain Dew Christopher Walken. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Baja Blast. That's what I meant it matched. Baja Boom. <laughs> get ready for Mountain Dew Science! <laughs> and get ready for Mountain Dew Blood Farts. <laughs> oh, God. That's, That's the other code <laughs> right. <laughs> I gotta go Christopher Walken because it made no sense. Yeah, That's good. Yeah, <laughs> damn it, John. <laughs> All we're determining is that we're oh. really good people and John is horrible. <laughs> no, because once it gets once it gets further into the game, it gets worse and worse. That's a good question. Why am I broke? <laughs> <laughs> I blame Omicron right now. <laughs> I have a feeling my, mine's gonna be a little too real for some people, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading these cards ahead of time, and they're horrible. All right, yes, all right, all right. Are. Okay. Let's see. Why am I broke? Penis envy. <laughs> <laughs> True. The leader, the leader that says I can make it larger. <laughs> special guest, music, special musical, ah, special musical guest, share. <laughs> oh God! A defective condom. <laughs> <laughs> That's also broke. <laughs> Syphilitic insanity. <laughs> I know who it is. I know who it is, but it is too just too good. Defective condom. Thank you. 
decide your turn. <laughs> okay. That's why I said it's way too real. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, in the new Disney Channel original movie, Hannah Montana struggles with Blake for the first time. Oh. I've seen some responses to this on like Twitter posts and things like that. Like I, I, I recognize this exact black card. Um. Um. Uh, um. Can you read the card out loud again for the camera to the picture? In the new Disney Channel original movie, Hannah Montana struggles with Blake for the first time. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, damn it. Mine's so fucking stupid. Another good one. <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. Okay. Anna Montana struggles with a bobbin. <laughs> <laughs> Amputees. <laughs> Being rich. <laughs> For the first time? <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> oh god. This is Disney. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Stockholm Syndrome. Damn <laughs> right. The Beast reference. Oh no, I'm more talk about the contracts, but yeah. yeah that was really, I was thinking more contracts. There, there, there's one. There's a white card that is perfect for that one. It's Hannah Montana struggles with a 40 year old Miley Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoa. Ugh. What is it good for? I thought you said wah. Wah. <laughs> wah. wah. What is it good for? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you have Helen Keller. No. Okay. Uh, I have one that's almost as right. good though. War. What is it good for? Cheating in the Special Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> what is it good for? You must construct additional pylons. Okay. <laughs> that's war. <laughs> what is it good for? A balanced breakfast. <laughs> war. What is it good for? Bill Clinton naked out of the bearskin run with a saxophone. <laughs> I'd have to go with Bill Clinton just to make Bill Clinton. <laughs> I really thought. I was hoping the Bowels Breakfast <laughs> would be the winner. <laughs> <laughs> what was it good for? How about Bowels Breakfast? And uh, Nathan, is the picture supposed to be shaking like that? Whoa. What? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Earthquake! Why is he doing that again? You might have to switch to Johnny's. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, the last video has a little bit of a video error where the, uh, the video starts shaking like we're in a freaking earthquake. <laughs> um, so, we're back with a new part. We're gonna continue going from where we left off, so it's some call me Johnny's turn. Yes. Alright. What am I giving up for Lent? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, I got it. I got uh, it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Maybe? M m maybe? Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Alright, is there one? Yep. yep. Alrighty then. What is he giving up? So, what am I giving up for Lent? Establishing dominance. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What am I giving up for Lent? Count Chocula. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> what am I giving up for Lent? Pandora's vagina. <laughs> what? Alright, yeah. Okay. And what am I giving up for Lent? Fuck Mountain. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Count Chocula. Yes! <laughs> oh uh, the Pandora's Vagina one, when yeah, I got the big the bigger blacker box carrying case, it came with its own expansion pack. All the cards are nothing but box puns. Really? Oh. They're nothing but box puns. It's Ted's kind of game. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, this is a pick two, so you're gonna place two cards down. And then draw two, two cards. In the order you want them in, so I'm not gonna look, cause that way they don't get mixed okay. up. Are you gonna have the first one face down, the one on top? Okay, whatever card is f at touching the table like that, that's the card I'm gonna read first. Okay. 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 So, dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of blank has denied your request for blank. Put in your answers now. So the first one, the office of blank. the bottom card in your two card stack is gonna be the one I read first. The office of blank. Has denied your request for. No. Dang it, and I have one that would have been perfect. So. And then we pick up two cards. Yes. There, I think we're going to skip these ones. There are ones where they're, um, you place three, yeah. but in order to place it, you, you draw two cards, so you have 12, and of those 12, you pick three. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. That, so is everyone ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> They don't get mixed up. Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of Batman has denied your request for explosions. What? <laughs> Not what Arkham Knight says. 
June 23rd. <laughs> we regret to inform you <laughs> that the Office of Fear itself has denied your request for some kind of Birdman. <laughs> The Office of Racial Profiling has denied your request for the way white people is. <laughs> we regret to inform you that the Office of 24-Hour Media Coverage has denied your request for spontaneous human combustion. <laughs> I'm sorry, but as stupid as it is, I gotta go the Batman explosion. Yes. <laughs> why did Batman uh, deny why, explosions? Yeah, why did the office of Batman... Their explosions are dangerous. Yeah. Only he can have non-lethal explosions. <laughs> the explosive gel. All right. I love how Batman has three exclamation points with it. He can punch a guy in the teeth with it, not kill him. <laughs> to prepare for his upcoming role, Daniel Day-Lewis immersed himself in the world of blank. Does everybody know who Daniel Day Lewis yes. is? <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> some of them are just ridiculous as to why someone would someone even be in here. Like, one of them is Daniel Radcliffe's asshole. Okay. <laughs> Alright, to so prepare for his upcoming role, Daniel Day Lewis immersed himself in the world of sexual humiliation. <laughs> well then. In the world of police brutality. Well then. Topical. <laughs> in the world of spectacular abs. <laughs> in the world of laying an egg? <laughs> what? Laying an egg. <laughs> to be honest, none of these are that great. <laughs> you get those sometimes. Yeah. Uh Can you just imagine him laying an egg? Yes! Because it makes no sense. Yes! Could you imagine him just be like, okay, I have to lay an egg every day? Uh, my turn? So yeah, the all right. Money Tunes short where the Mafia makes Daffy lay golden eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Before I run for president, I must destroy all evidence of my involvement with blank. <laughs> Frank Scratch comes. <laughs> Ted gets dark. Ah! So good, so many good cards. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, You're but sometimes so you get a, a really good card, and then you find you get no black cards that are good. That for are good it. for yeah. yeah. There are some cards that I had an entire round because I could not play them at all. Yeah, yeah. Like minotaurs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got to go random with that. I'm, before I run for president, I must destroy all evidence of my involvement. With flying sex snakes. <laughs> <laughs> flying sex snakes. <laughs> I must destroy my evidence of all of my involvement with helplessly giggling at the mention of Hudson Hutus and Tootsies. Hutus and Tootsies. What are Hutus and Tootsies? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've I've heard, but they must be destroyed. I've <laughs> heard of them. I'm so bad at myself that I don't know what they are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I must destroy all evidence of my involvement with the economy. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that one stop. <laughs> I must destroy all evidence of my involvement with ethnic cleansing. <laughs> <laughs> that one's Those last two are good. The racist of presidents. Eth ethnic cleansing, because that one damn. actually had to yes! <laughs> I had it with the economy and John that damn right. The the you, there, that's always the case. Is you're like, he laughs so hard at one, and then the card right after it hits the one and fucks him up. Okay, this is a twofer. Ooh. Okay. In the beginning, there was blank, and the Lord said, let there be blank. <laughs> there was blank. Okay. <laughs> yep, first one on the bottom. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. I really think of the nonsensical shit. <laughs> like, I don't know because I, I sometimes really... sometimes you have to just sometimes you just have to toss cards <laughs> because they're not doing it. Like, uh, what first one on the bottom. Oh, what would I do first? Derek, I had to play the card. I had to. The, I had to first play the one the card. on the bottom. I mean, I'm just making sure. Uh, He's got to get the order right because if you read them out of order, it could be a whole <laughs> different game. Yeah, really. I've it, seen people get it out of order and still win. Yeah. <laughs> In the beginning, there was revenge fucking. And the Lord said, let there be ejaculating light bees and the bees are angry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He's ejaculating live bees <laughs> and the bees are angry. angry. <laughs> In the beginning, there was an unbelievable world of mushrooms. <laughs> the Lord said, let there be an unstoppable wave of fire ants. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's with all the insects? <laughs> In the beginning, there was rollers of fire flashless to the king. Uh, flashless to the king. And the Lord said, 
<laughs> that for real lizard and the spits blood from its eyes. <laughs> Say what? that again. I have an a for real lizard that spits blood from its eyes. <laughs> what the hell? Ethereal. Ethereal. <laughs> It's a, li- it's a snake lizard. Roland the farter, flatulous to the king. Oh my god. Uh, for, oh, it's a four. In the beginning, there was fisting. And the lords <laughs> let there be getting in their pants politely. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to go with revenge fucking just because that one probably makes the most sense to the farter. Yeah, I, I was flat, flatulous to the king. I just I had to toss those. They weren't there was revenge anyway. fucking, and the lord said, let there be peace. All right, John. Sorry. <laughs> All right. What's fun until it gets weird? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> I got two that would work really well. I got two that would work, but yeah. Oh, okay. Just put it, I'll just, just put it in the bottom of the deck. No, put it, it in was dim titties. One would work in general, one would work because it's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I... Go for the one for Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Alright. What's fun until What's it gets... What's fun until it gets weird? Alright, what's fun until it gets weird? Actually getting shot. <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> what's fun before getting weird? A fat bald man from the internet. <laughs> Fuck you. You <laughs> <laughs> gave me out of contact. <laughs> <laughs> what's fun until it gets weird? A super soaker trademark full of cat pee. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what's fun until it gets weird? <laughs> New pile <laughs> slave boys? <laughs> well, New Bile Slave New Boys. Slave boys. <laughs> what? <laughs> a fat bald bed for the internet. Yes! <laughs> I'm on a Slave Boys. Yeah. <laughs> he usually has all his blacks. Think, I think Nathan's winning now. <laughs> oh, of course he's winning. He's won that be la- the last one lately. <laughs> well, I can't win this one. Yeah. All right, bros. Our frat house is condemned and all the hot slam pieces over at Gamma Phi. Uh, the time has come for, to commence Operation Blank. Operation... Oh, I could have used getting in her pants politely here. <laughs> really? I, I really... Uh, dem titties. <laughs> Operation Dem <Dem-titties>. titties. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I picked the fat bald man from the internet. I'm not just like, I gotta play that for Johnny. <laughs> Alright, it's time to commence. <laughs> Operation A Mulatto, An Albino, A Mosquito, And My Libido. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the lyrics to It Smells Like Teen Spirit. Oh. It's time to commence Operation Finding Waldo. <laughs> He's in your hi- pants. Yeah. He's been hiding for too long. It's time to commence Operation A Good Sniff. <laughs> <laughs> and Operation Being a Motherfucking Box. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Finding Waldo because yes. that just makes the best sense. Oh my God. They call it Waldo's now. <laughs> Alright. Alright, my there. turn. Alright. I love this game. Here at the Academy for Gifted Children, we allow students to explore blank at their own pace. (laughs) What kind of gifted children am I going to (laughs) get? Oh my god. There are probably so many shots of our stupid ass faces in this video. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Probably. Yep. Okay. Here at the Academy for Gifted Children, we allow students to explore Stephen Hawking talking dirty in that <laughs> drone case. It's still be smart. <laughs> we allow students to explore menstrual rage at their own pace. Must be a school for girls. <laughs> we, we allow students to explore another shot of morphine at their own pace. <laughs> we allow students to explore concealing a boner at their own pace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <there you> go. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had it with I'm gonna have to get a little more raunchy. <laughs> I almost had it with mine. In his newest and most difficult stunt, David Blaine must escape from blank. Oh, I could've used a motherfucking box. Um <laughs> 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 uh, uh, point totals. I've got three, Ryan I has one. one. I got one. I have four. Um, okay, more than four. <laughs> oh god, I've got seven. so many good ones for this. That's a good problem to have. Gonna <laughs> yeah. go with that one. All right, David Blade must escape from what? Well, the thing is, it works best in those contexts. They're all crap otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Okay, in his diffi- in his newest and most difficult stunt, David Blade must escape from 
getting eaten alive by Guy Fieri. <laughs> Go <on. laughs> That's a fun minute. David Blaine must escape from firing a rifle into the air while balls deep in a spear. <laughs> 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 well then, <laughs> David Blaine must escape from kids with ass cancer. <laughs> Donate to us. <laughs> David Blaine must escape from bioengineered assault turtles with acid breath. <laughs> what? Bioengineered assault turtles with acid breath. <laughs> okay. Which one? I'm gonna have to go with firing a rifle into the air while ball, ball, balls deep in a squealing hog. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, John Fletcher, me. You said you had to get raunchy, damn it. You didn't do it. <laughs> he, he got raunchy, all right. Ah, you're right. dropping cards. A remarkable new study has shown that chimps have evolved their own, evolved their own primitive version of blank. Um, uh, okay, I think, I think, oh, hmm. I've got two that are really good for this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with this one. You know, it gets to a point where, like, I start picking up so many good ones that stay at the top that I keep forgetting what I have in the back. Yeah. And some of them are still really good. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> a remarkable new study has shown that chimps have evolved their own primitive version of <laughs> a bus that will explode if it goes under 50 miles an hour. A bus that will explode if it goes under 50 miles an hour. DK1 banana! <laughs> That chimps have evolved their own primitive version of <laughs> quivering jowls. <laughs> oh god. Have evolved their own primitive version of eight ounces of sweet Mexican black tar and <laughs> black tar heroin. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> have evolved their own primitive version of peeing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I swear we're gonna get one of these and John's gonna spit his coffee everywhere. I really gotta stop drinking while I'm doing this shit. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the bus because it's actually a primitive version of something you can build. Yeah. Primitive I thought, heroin! I thought that peeing a little bit would get that one. <laughs> Alright, Johnny. Alright. What did Vin Diesel eat for dinner? Okay. Uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> Shall I put on the Vin Diesel voice when doing this? Like, like, uh. Oh wait, I need Oh damn it! I damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You got just one. got one that would be perfect for this. Um, I can't. Uh, Who writes these things? Uh, Weirdos. <laughs> I guess I'll go with that one. All right. <laughs> All right. So what did Vin Diesel eat for dinner? Grandpa's ashes. <laughs> oh, oh God! God. <laughs> Yeast. <laughs> okay. What did Vin Diesel eat for dinner? A great cornhole Leo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And what did Vin Diesel eat for dinner? A manhole. I guess. <laughs> I, you know, I like yeast the most because it's just a single word. <laughs> yeast. Damn it. Anyway, I don't know. That one made the yeast yeah. sense. <laughs> <laughs>